all right and welcome back to another video another demo video okay today we're gonna look at the apple backlight circuit and uh, the backlight circuit in general for both pc and apple notebooks all right so um the apple notebook and um, backlight is um can be a very complex circuit from time to time when troubleshooting during the maintenance process many engineers you know repair techs have um, issues understanding the backlight circuit so in this demo class i'm going to show you how to check the backlight circuit or to understand the whole working procedure of a backlight circuit for both pc and apple computer systems now i have an image here of a mac board let me zoom out it's a diagram rather right this is a diagram right so this is how the, the backlight circuits gets its powers and output its different voltages so first you have the screen power supply then we have the screen power right which is AVCC the main power supply voltage gate high voltage gate low which is a switch which is acting as a switch driving two upper and lower transistors it built in which is integrated inside of the screen all right so we have a three volt power supply coming to the screen the main power supply it's going to it this is the main power supply going to the screen all right and the two switches voltages which is all put in a set of voltages right this is a demo video if you want the full video you have to purchase when my videos are out ready for purchase then you should understand and learn the complete sequence and steps how to repair any marking Mac apple notebook backlight problems no backlight all right so here we have the led power supply we have 19 volt and we have backlight enabled we have a PWM and we have a ground. Now this is the 19 volt power supply for this chip. We have the backlight enable which is coming from the backlight enable circuit on the board from the PC 3 volt high. We have the positive modulation signal. Right PWM signal. This signal is the brightness adjustment and we have the ground. Then once these four conditions are met then it will output a voltage out to the screen and this is powered the LED power supply. This is for the LED. Right, so the, the, the board on the board itself it has a LED section, a backlight for the LED which provides power for the LED bulbs. Now these are the feedback signals which is reporting about the total amount of current. Because on the backlight driver IC you have to, there is a, a two pins, right, one is for the frequency and one is for the, the setting, the current setting and the frequency setting those are the two pins that is on the driver IC that is going to control the output of the voltage because it needs to detect the total amount of current that is generated from the screen so it can adjust its output voltages right I wonder if you understand what I'm saying so once these feedback pins are reporting to a set of resistors these resistors are current sensing resistors what are they called current sensing and they are sensing that total amount of current which is report back to this driver IC and then this IC right let me get my point to fix and then when these all these pins are grouped it is coming and it is going to a, a protection regulator inside of the screen inside of the chip and then it is outputting an adjusted voltage the voltage will be adjusted so it can adjust the output voltage because you don't want to damage your screen and your led bulbs so it must find a way to detect the current sensing right so these are coming through current sensing resistors to detect the total amount of current so it can be adjusted internally and then output it based on the so this is a dynamic adjustment based on the the state of the current input signals coming in okay all right so we have here a backlight uh, circuit here this is from a regular laptop 15.6 led screen as you can see now this chip is the uh the picture this is the microprocessor which processes all images right coming from your lvds connector this is your lvds connector and this is your the, 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 the chip this is your cpu or your microprocessor which processes all the images right this is your this is your EEPROM chip. This is the chip that stores the manufacturer's information, the screen resolution, whether it's an EDP or LVDS based type of screen, right? These are your, this is your EDID chip. This is your EDID chip. So, so this is your EDID, right? This is a, when I'm in the roots, uh, I will launch a LCD screen repair class also, how to repair LCD screens, right? And that's a separate course from this course. All right. So we are talking about Apple backlight and backlight circuits in general. 
All right, so this is your EDID chip. This stores the manufacturer's information, as I said before, EDP or LVDS information, right? The screen resolution and some other information that is in stored, stored inside of this chip. Now let's go to the backlight circuit. All right, this is your backlight circuit. So this is your three volt coil. This is L4. Three volts is coming through this coil, as you can see. All right, this is three volts coming through this coil. All right, three volt, All right, coming through to power the chip. This is your backlight driver IC. Now here are your current limiting resistors. All of these are your current limiting resistors, which is monitoring the total amount of current. That the, all of these are grouped together, right? All of these are grouped together, reporting back to the chip, right? These are reporting back to the chip to tell the chip the total amount of current so it can drive the output voltage in an adjusted way and this is your LCD backlight connector right this is your LCD backlight connector this is your LCD backlight connection right here and this chip is basically powering right these are your current capacity feedback one feedback two feedback three feedback four feedback five feedback six so all these are your feedback capacitors and they are connected to the feedback and they are reporting back through the resistors all these feedback resistors right and they must monitor your current in order to adjust the output voltages which is powering your led backlight right and this is the led ribbon strip this is providing power to the led bulbs inside of your screen all right so this is how the backlight circuit works so this is a backlight circuit right i remember we were appearing a lock where i cut off this piece of circuit here i cut off all of this piece right and i put it on a mac because the, this circuit is on the mac laptop right on the mac this circuit is on the apple notebook this circuit is already integrated on the mac right so it's split up in different sections let me go back to the picture all right so this is the backlight driver ic for the mac for this notebook apple notebook here with it this is the backlight driver ic this is the backlight driver ic right this is the backlight management ic so this this ic releases some signals that like backlight enable backlight pause with modulation adjustment this is the ic that is driving this chip to control the backlight also right this is part of the lcd backlight control and it has other functions inside right this is a demo class i cannot tell you everything in this demo when you purchase the full video i will tell you everything about this chip right and, and it works with the pch right it works with the pch also right and this is the pch right this is the pch this is the pch as you can see intel series 6 hm65 right and i have the full timing for the intel series 6 on the mac also and i can provide that as a separate class this is your smc this is your smc this is your pch okay this is your smc this is a pch all right now let's go to the schematic so the backlight section is on page 88 this is the first page of the apple notebook schematic every apple notebook schematic uh, the table of contents on the first page as you can see and you just find the section that you want to repair based on your maintenance and then you go to the page so let's go to page 88 all right all right so this is the backlight driver page this is the backlight see lcd backlight driver and this is the apple backlight driver circuit all right so uh this is your fuse f9700 and this is the fuse let me go back to the next page all right let's zoom in all right so this is your f9700 this fuse it has the letter p on it right this is your fuse this is 12 volts coming through this fuse right 12 volts so we have 12 volts coming here we have 12 oops that's a darker color let me choose a different color let's say green so we have 12 volts coming through this fuse all right 12 volts and it is coming through this to here and coming to sorry this is going to the backlight driver section through a coil all right 12 volts coming from here going to the next side of the board through a coil all right and it's going through a coil and that coil basically drives the backlight enable signal all right and it's under this speaker here it's under the speaker all right uh so this is the backlight circuit on the for the apple this is 
fuse f9700 at 12 volts pp bus g3 hot 12.3 volts coming through this fuse all right it's coming to the source pin of this six leg mosfet this mosfet has six legs basically it has one two three four five six in physical appearance it is six legs it has six legs all right so the pin number four is the source pin number three is the gate so another part of this 12.3 was coming through two resistors and this is basically telling us that it's our voltage divider so this voltage divider is coming to signal is coming through a set of two resistors here lc to become lcd backlight underscore en underscore div which is coming to the gate of this mosfet and as you can see the arrows on the outside so this is a p channel mosfet okay this is a p channel mosfet now before this MOSFET can conduct the voltage at the gate must be less than the voltage at the source so at this time this is not conducting because this is this end of number the, the pin two of this resistor must be connected to ground so when this pin is grounded as you can see lcd underscore backlight underscore enable pin comes to the gate of q9707 then it will conduct right then this signal must come also backlight underscore plt reset underscore l this signal basically tells that the reset signal is okay and has passed so this is after the reset signal remember reset plt reset is the last hard start signal before you can get soft start and to generate backlight right so backlight enable signal comes to this to the gate of this mosfet also and then this will conduct right this is a n these are n channel mosfet these are your N channel MOSFETs right these are your N so it will conduct right this will conduct right and this will be low this will be low right G and D this is grounded right this will be grounded this section will be grounded and these two resistors right these two resistors will be conducted and this will pull up will conduct right it will conduct this resistor this MOSFET sorry right so this 12 volts coming through right this is a z this will be low right and this is going to come here to pull up to conduct this mosfet and this will conduct and this voltage will come out to become pp bus underscore switch underscore lcd underscore backlight underscore power right and this is the mosfet that is conducting this signal this is a new signal now before it was PP bus S0 underscore backlight underscore fuse. After conduction, it becomes PP bus underscore switch underscore LC underscore backlight underscore power. Right, so this signal is going to here, as you can see. see? PP bus underscore switch underscore backlight underscore power switch, which is coming to the anode. Right, this is the anode. This is that booster diode. This is the anode. This is the cathode, and it is driving the voltage. Right, this is our coil. We have a coil here. This is the booster coil. This coil is driving. The backlight driver of um, backlight voltage L9701. Right now, this is the driver IC LP8550. Right, LP8550. Right, and this is the backlight driver. Let me zoom in and show you. This is a BGA package. This is a BGA, not QFN. These are QFNs, but this is a BGA. Right, so this chip is BGA. That's how Apple designed their backlight. Remember, we said that the backlight circuit is already on the board. In a PC, the backlight circuit is on the screen. So Apple integrates the backlight circuit on their motherboard. This is known as ODM, Original Design Manufacturing. Right, this is a ODM, Original Design Manufacturing. So Apple is an ODM based type of board, and I will give you the history of ODM versus. OEM okay so this is a backlight driver IC this is getting this needs two voltage to supply first you check the supply of this voltage right it is two volts so we have V in and we have VDDIO we have VLDO right so check V in so first V in is coming to the C1 pin and VLDO is coming to the D1 pin which is shared and this is a total of how many volts this is pp5 volt s0 so s0 means that when the board is fully on this is coming from slps3 as you can see so pp pp5 underscore s0 is coming to power these two pins vin and vldo there's another voltage 
power supply VDDIO and this is 3.3 volts S0 right this is from run power SLPS3 which is coming to VDDIO pin C4 pin D1 pin and C1 pins are your power supply pins right remember this is a BGA package so there's no way to check under the chip so we will have to check this capacitor for 3.3 volt C9711 right and you'll also have to check these capacitors these two capacitors C9710 and C97 C9714 for 5 volts coming at these two capacitors and 3 volts coming at this capacitor. Now the supply is okay. Next we are going to check the backlight enable. So the backlight enable for this driver IC to tell it to start working. Right? There are some working conditions that you must know in order to check this circuit properly. This chip needs a set of working conditions and as I said before in the picture. The standard way of any backlight getting circuit is for working conditions, right? We have 19 volt, which is a LED. We have backlight enabled. We have positive modulation, and we have ground. But for the LP8550, it doesn't need 19 volt. It needs two supplies, which is 5 volt and 3.3 volt, which is like this. So this is it, 3.3 volt, which is coming to the main supply, and then it needs that backlight enable the positive modulation. This is the backlight adjustment right in the factory this backlight just adjustment is rough, roughly 2.5 volt which is the lowest when you brighten it with the keyboard shortcut it becomes 3.3 volt high 3.3 volt is the maximum for the brightness adjustment when you lower the screen backlight it the lowest is 2.5 volt okay so first we need backlight enable and where is it coming from it is right here see lcd underscore See, sorry, PP bus underscore switch underscore backlight power, and this coming through a voltage divider. As you can see, this is a voltage divider, and this is coming. This should be roughly three volts. Now, PP bus underscore switch underscore LCD underscore backlight power is 12 volts, right? And you don't need 12 volts, so let's copy where the signal is coming from. Now, where is it coming from? Paste and let's search. This signal is coming from the fuse through the switch circuit so I'm going to show you again all right so let's let the first one all right see PP plus underscore switch underscore backlight power all right and that's where it's coming from here so it's coming from here from this MOSFET see PP bus underscore switch underscore backlight power but because this voltage is 12 volts it needs to go through a voltage divider to pull it down to a lower voltage Right, it needs to pull down to a lower voltage, so that is why they put two resistors here, which is R9731, R9715, to come and to turn on, become backlight enabled. And this is coming to the A3 pin of the LP8550 to turn on the backlight. This is the enable. The second signal you need is the pulse width modulation. See LCD underscore backlight underscore PWM, right? And this signal, right? This signal, let me turn on my pens. Right, so this signal is coming through here and coming to here All right, as you can see and this is the backlight which is coming through another voltage divider here and then once it's converted to 3 volt it is going to turn on the backlight All right uh, let me use my arrow then instead alright so this is the backlight right this is coming to here right it's coming through a voltage divider here to be conducted after conduction then it will be coming the backlight driver IC and it is coming to provide backlight enable right and it is enabling the backlight all right this is a demo video right if you want full videos please purchase and when my videos are ready you can purchase full videos okay thanks for watching